We're at Felipe Park entrance in Safety Harbor, Florida. Heading towards the causeway. To the left here, there's a boat launch place. A lot of cars here today, it's Saturday. Lots of parking, lots of picnic shelters. You can go kayaking here, paddle boarding. There's volleyball to the left here. Volleyball court, I mean. Another picnic area without the shelters. So around here you can park your car and go kayaking. Go places you can launch from. Paddle boarding, whatever. You know. This is exactly one mile from the front. It's the back entrance. Total distance one mile. Total time four minutes and 34 seconds. Time of day two nine. Split speed 13.2 miles per hour. I used to come back here in the 90s, mid 90s. Maybe er actually early 90s. These homes were nice. I don't remember them being as nice as this. I think this road was a brick road. It wasn't even, it wasn't fun to ride your bike on. Probably why I didn't come back here too often. But I always thought these homes were nice. The homes were nice back here. Out there to the left is where we're heading to the causeway. That is about three miles from the back entrance of Felipe Park. This is the road that'll take you to the Safety Harbor Spa. And from the back of Felipe Park to Safety Harbor Spa entrance, it's a mile, one mile. Yeah, that's where we're heading to, the causeway out there on the left. Right here, I'll show you this too. It's like my fourth time filming this. Like our city art, check this art out. It's pretty cool. There's a bike station here. Safetyharborpublicart.com. This path here will take you out to the water, not to the back. Uh, pass behind the safety harbor spa we're not going to go that way because you can't ride your bike up here you can't ride your bike on the left bridge on the left here so there's a path here on the left that'll take you behind the safety harbor spa and out to the dock areas where you can, uh, it's called waterfront park this is a brick road and it's, it's, it's not bumpy at all it's not too bumpy it's not too bad here's safety harbor spa on the left Total distance two miles. Safety Harbor Resort and Spa. Must be an event going on downtown. 
not letting people in here. Love and marriage, love and marriage, go together like the horse and carriage. This, I tell you, brother, can't have all that the other. But those fountains remind me of every time I pass here. You can park here. I don't know if it's free parking. Doesn't say. Nice homes. Nice homes. More nice homes. Wow, man, look at this. behind those homes. The sign here says welcome to Safety Harbor. On the other side. So we're entering uh, Clearwater. Clearwater here. Clearwater. It's like a cool water sandwich. <laughs> What do you want for nothing? Rubber biscuits? Oh, I like this one. Pretty cool, man. Gotta be careful on this section here. People are going downhill. They gain some speed going down there. A lot of people today. A lot of people today. take advantage of this heat I will can you can you blame them Would you rather be up north it says Cooper's Bayou Park a little jogging trail area and there's a water fountain I'm not sure what that railing railing is for Cooper's Bayou Park, City of Clearwater. Yeah, I'm not sure if he can launch a kayak from here. There's parking back there. Okay, here comes a turn for the Reem Wilson Trail. Well, we're on the Reem Wilson Trail, but this one goes towards Old, Old Coachman Road. See where the flashes are? It goes towards Old Coachman Road and McMullen. McMullen Booth and also Old Coachman Road. Which I'll show you in another video too. My video, the probably ride to the beach. What kind of car was I? I wasn't paying attention. It looks like an old classic. It almost looked like a Camaro. Harbor Town with an E at the end of the town. There's a sign on the other side that says slippery when wet. 
on this bridge. So be careful there. Coming up on four miles. I got a new bike. It's a road bike. Switch from my old Swin 1250, my Varsity 1250 that I got at Walmart for 200 bucks and I rode it about 26,000 miles before I got this one. Oh, and that's a fact, it's not made up. So this one I've already put, today I'll put 400 miles on it, on this bike. The Triband RC 520. I bought it because of it's versatile and I could add bigger tires on it if I want. Wider tires, wider. Right now I got the 28s on there. Skinny tires. Okay, close your eyes. You didn't see this. The secret shortcut. Don't tell anybody about it. Don't tell anybody about this horse. So we're at four and a half miles here. We're at four and a half miles here. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. like grease lightning I'll stop here so you guys can read this stuff Courtney Campbell Parkway 1947 the wind's knocking me around a little today So today we're heading in a supposedly a headwind coming this way. The causeway from here it goes east, but it goes up a little. It's not east and west leveled out. I guess they were expecting a lot of people this weekend here. Look at all the jet skis and stuff. tip I'll give you about riding the causeway is check the wind speed before you go across and what direction it's going to check on the Google search like this okay Google what is wind speed outside okay Google what's the temperature outside It's a hot day today. They said it's like a heat blanket today. I've been out here a few times with the headwind coming back and it's not fun when you get caught in one coming back. This is a 10 mile, this is about 10 miles across. We started at 4.5 miles. I'd rather deal with the headwind on the way over than coming back. We're at six miles. Total distance six miles. So this bridge is a mile and a half from the start of the Causeway Trail.
coming up on the Hillsborough County line. Eight miles, so three and a half from the start. Courtney Campbell Trail. Total distance eight miles. So I said Courtney Campbell Trail established 2013. That's good to know. Three and a half miles to Tampa from the Clearwater side. Bad timing? No. A lot of people like to ride this more in the morning. I don't think the wind is as strong. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. It's nice they did this. They took the roads that were on the side here and turned it into a trail. up on nine miles so this bridge is four and a half miles away I thought it was five it is five from the top believe it or not that's a half mile up there total distance nine miles you can see dolphins up here sometimes I check both sides Always look before you go over there. <laughs> yeah, the dolphins like to hang around this place. There's stingrays and there's uh, turtles too. Just saw a dolphin. There's a couple out there. All school of them. Let me see if I can get a better view. There's a whole school of them out there. There's a pod, I'm sorry, there's a pod of them. Where you at, dolphins? Come out. Dolphins! A couple of them. I'm out at uh, Tampa at the Courtney Campbell Causeway. We're very close to a half mile up here. We're at 9.42. So what was I off by? Five one hundredths? Saying it was a half mile up. 19. We're at 9.45 we at, at the top. I was close. Now the fun part. Going down. Point eighty, eight tenths of a mile. That bridge is, according to my app. A lot of jet skis out today. Yeah, we're 
getting knocked around here. Hopefully it'll be fun going back. That's what is happening today. It's not usually as busy on the week weekdays. Good place to have a party, huh? Bring your family out here. Total distance 12 miles. This is Ben T. Davis Beach. It's 12 miles from the Felipe Park Safety Harbor. Ben T. Davis Beach in Tampa on the Courtney Campbell Causeway. There's another entrance up ahead. Hopefully we have fun going back. This is the main part of the Benty Davis Beach. There's parking here. There's water. There's a water fountain in there. Bathrooms, public bathrooms. There's more ice cream on the right, and that school bus thing. This, I believe, is Whiskey Joe's. Yeah, it's Whiskey Joe's. See the sign that says Whiskey Joe's. Used to be next to the Rusty Pelican out on Rocky Point Drive. beach area where you pull up your boat. Workout pause. Up. See? Yeah, I know 
the promoter back there at the water. Corey. On the map, it shows that's the end of the Causeway Trail. This trail goes all the way to West Shore. Not really, it's... Not really too West Shore, you take the road a little bit. Well, kind of turns into a bike lane. Good ways from here. That was good to know that uh, right there at the Shriners place, it was 13 miles across. Not 13, what is it, eight and a half? Yeah, eight and a half. We started at four and a half. 8.5 miles to that part. this at 14 miles. I had oyster catchers. Grand Hyatt oyster catchers. Gotta be careful of cars because they come out of the shade. Total distance 14 miles. Okay, usually from the start of the Oldsmar Trail is 20 miles here. Uh, it seems like it's six miles to the front of the Felipe Park from the start of the Oldsmar Trail. Still in the headwind. Uh, this is my fourth time recording out here in, in the last few weeks. Every time is different. The first time I thought I was recording. And the battery going bad on me and choked my camera. I thought I was getting good footage here, but I wasn't. So. Yeah, it's cooler to see the plane land this way from the right to the left and see him take off. Yeah, Tampa International Airport is still left of us. a little bumpy but you can't complain I mean, they, I mean look at it they put a trail here you can't complain that it's bumpy you gotta be grateful that they put a trail here for us according to the map it says skyway trail up on 15 miles here. Total distance 15 miles. Yeah, this camera's shaking like crazy. I take you to a secluded beach back here. The client says bike route to the west, West Shore Boulevard. You can go down that way. I'm going to take you down that way. Uh, but I'm going to take you a different way. Show you the beach first. Uh, 
a little secret beach back here. Secluded. This is, I have to take you in the shade to see the sign. My camera won't focus on it. Cypress Point Park. City of Tampa Park was acquired with assistance from Florida Communities Trust in the Hillsborough County Environmental Land Acquisition and Protection Program. There's a disc, disc golf course out here. I drove, drove my bike back there once. 15.44 4 miles. See the wind and the flag? Flags are a cyclist's best friend, right? Beach volleyball in the back here. I guess it's not so secluded today. Come here in the weekdays, it's not like this. It's not packed like this. <laughs> so much for secluded, right? On your left. Yeah, I'll have to show you the video on another here. They got a, somebody actually using the wheelchair mat. Is out there. Good for the wheelchair people. A lot of people don't know about this. leaving. I guess I haven't been here on a weekend in a long time. Or you know what it is? Last time I came here it probably was just too cold to be out there. Take you on a tour of the golf course. in part three or is it a hole or a cage <laughs> this is where the truck comes out this, this is where we were way down there okay we're heading towards west shore North R.E.O. Street, Rio Street, like R.E.O. Speedway. Cypress Center, Cypress Center. Okay, I'm gonna take you on 275. Joking around.
bike sharing road. Still on the headwind. Taking a left here. At Lemon Street, West, West Lemon Street. That's Dex Imaging to the left. Big sponsor of the uh, Indy. Total distance 17 miles. I was a big sponsor of the Indy car race in St. Petersburg. West Shore bike route. From this intersection, I don't wouldn't know where to go to get to downtown Tampa. I mean, safely is what I mean. Bike lane in, that's it. There's nothing here. I don't know where that goes. But if I think if you go here, you go left. Not at this light, but down the next road, you can get to downtown Tampa. Safety is a question though. I don't know how safe it is. Look at the flag. We're at 17.51 miles here. Getting my energy, my peanut butter things. Mmm, gotta love them. I mean, toasty, toast, toast cheese. Toast chi, toast, toast chi. Ready? Let's go. people in Tampa might know this area. This is where the Yucatan liquor stand used to be. It used to be a nice place. Two-story, two-story wooden bar. It was, a, it was a spot for bachelor and bachelorette parties. That was a place to go, man. Most talked about bar in Tampa. One of the most talked about bars ever in Tampa. Yucatan Liquor Stand. Go there on your birthday and get a big picture of, I think it was Sex on the Beach. And they give you a bunch of straws for your friends to drink out of the pitcher. This will take us back towards that, that overpass that we went under. This lot over here is where Carson Plumbing used to be. I used to work here for a few, maybe half a year. Built homes in West Chase and, not West Chase. Yeah, we built some homes in West Chase and Meadow Point out there. And Hunter's Green, New Tampa. We didn't build them, we just <coughs> installed the plumbing. Total distance 18 miles. Got time here. Three, two, one, boom. I didn't make it, but I do now. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Now we have a commercial break. Catch the bus, join our team. That's Route 30 to downtown. Party. Be careful of cars coming because they don't stop you. They don't stop. Let's see if we see any planes taking off this way. I haven't seen any. Oh, that thing is making too much noise, man. Total distance 19 miles. Yeah, there goes a plane right there.
spirit. A lot of spirit air flies this way. The noise you're hearing is in my bag. When I'm holding it down, you can't hear it. GoPro, stop recording. All right, I've given up on plastic GoPro holders. I haven't even had this two days and it's broken on me. How many? Oh, I'm shot. Oh, it got me. If you get this, if you get this, I was just shot. If you see this video, I was just shot. Tell my friends I love them. Look, it says Raymond James Stadium. Tampa International Airport in Tampa St. Petersburg. I can't believe this. I just bought this stupid handle and I broke them. Uh, Jay Blue? Southwest. I'm sorry. South, Southwest. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to order that aluminum uh, bike mount because I got to have something better than what I got. See that? broke man this is metal this is plastic it's only the second day I've used this thing only the second day I've used this and it's broken and I was lucky I looked down and I saw it wobbling I just grabbed it before it fell because this camera has fallen before the camera fell one time before and the camera fell one time before and it, it did some damage but not much better that the camera doesn't go flying started filming the bottom piece is broken it wasn't it wasn't the new piece the new piece should have a couple more months left on it here it comes watch southwest Check it out, man. Skyway Park. Skyway Park. Skyway Park. Total distance 20 miles. Another trail takes you back. Back in the headwind again. Fun, fun, right?
Almost got it. Okay, this is Skyway Park. I was reading something in the paper that people are coming to the ball games here. They have a baseball field and a football field here. And people were complaining that they were parking in their neighborhood, so this place is overfilling with people. It's supposed to be for help keep kids out of trouble, right? But Tampa Bay Youth Football League. That's Skyway Park. Alright, we're heading back home. Back to Felipe Park. We're heading 26 still. 25, 24.7, 24.5. Yeah, that's more fun when you got the tail on behind you going back. Make you feel like a champ. Somebody's there to push the button. 